All right, that was a pretty good intro, no? What's going on, everybody? Uncle Floyd here, playing Neverwinter on Xbox. Uh, apparently, we're dancing. They released the Astral Lockbox without a Wondrous Bazaar discount, in effect. What? Oh, man. Ooh, the balls on them. All right, I want another bigger bag. Right there. Done. Stupid ass video of me opening 20 lockboxes on stream. First of all, 20 isn't a big number. Second of all, why do people want to see that? So here's the Lothian lockbox. Let's inspect it. Okay, so on console, it doesn't tell you how many you've opened. It shows you a graph, but the graph isn't accurate. Like the bar, the bar doesn't match up with the numbers. I thought the guaranteed reward was at 250. But seeing as I'm dressed apart, let's head over to uh, an icy environment. Let's go. Can you get to the top of this mountain? Is it doable? Can anybody tell me? It really looks impossible. Maybe if you're a rogue or something. Am I wasting my time? Is this it? Have I reached the... Uh, is this as far as I can go? Is, it, is that it? Okay, we're back for lockboxes. I'll probably make a video for all you folks who love to watch other people waste their... Their money, their zen, their AD... They're hard-earned lockbox keys, and misery loves company. So if you came here to watch me strike out and suffer and not get anything, you probably came to the right place. But I could get lucky. The, the meter's broken. You can't read it. There's no way to know uh, on, on Xbox anyway. I don't know if it works on PlayStation. I think on PC you can actually see how many lockboxes you've opened. Like if we inspect the box... This graph is clearly broken because I think the guaranteed reward is at 250. And it shows me that I'm a smidge away. And that's a very small amount. But I can tell you, I'm not a very small amount away. I am, in fact, dozens away from uh, the guaranteed reward. So, with that in mind, a numero uno. We're going to find out how many have opened as well, I think. Here we go. 225. This meter appears to be accurate, but you have to actually use a key to find out how many more keys you're going to need. Don't ask questions. Understand it is what it is. Companion upgrade tokens doesn't suck. Let's go. Um, I mean, they're worth like what? <clears throat> One token is a couple trade bars on sale. That's probably worth about three, four thousand AD times ten. Okay. Oh, a Sylvan Stag. Cool mount. Not worth much. Literally. 125 trade bars. Which is worth a lot more than 10 companion upgrade tokens. Because I can literally get 62.5 upgrade tokens with that. So that doesn't suck. That's pretty good. That's only, uh, that's number three. Let's go. Ooh, a Dragonborn Raider. That's doo-doo. Nobody wants that. All right. Let's go. Ooh, Unholy Protection. That is a horrible overload that nobody wants. All right. That's five. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here we go. Number seven. More garbage. Oh, pff, oh. Okay. Number eight. Frozen treasure. Uh, we had 2x strongholds like a week ago. Here we go. Number nine. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. That's like 2 million AD worth of tokens. I, that's a that's a lot. All right, let's go. Number ten. Vouchers. Oh, 
Supplies, professions. Uh, not so good. Okay. More trade bars. Damn, dude. So we got 1,300 already. Let's go. Number 12. That's a really cool looking mount. That's one of the most beautiful looking mounts in the game right there. The tiger striped owlbear is gorgeous. Next. Here's an ugly ass decomposed horse mount. But I mean, it's good for a Halloween theme. So I just got lucky. A water horse. These are all really, really cheap now because people are getting them left and right from these lock boxes. All right, number 15. Look it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Here we go. Oh, another shitty overload. That's terrible. And let's not get that anymore. We don't want that. All right. Oh, a cell sword. Ooh. A companion nobody wants. All right, next. Ah, Genie's Gifts. What are those worth now? A couple thousand each? I don't know. Mount upgrade tokens. All right, all right. Useful, but not, not a lot of them. Not that great. Okay, okay. We'll take more. I need some. Sure, sure. <clears throat> Five more, and then I get paid, baby. All right. One more. Oh. That is terrible. What is Insignia Powder worth? 500? Oh, man. Well, that's like 10K, I guess. Whatever. Next. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> what are these uh, choice packs going for? Like 2K? Not even. We're getting close to that guaranteed payout. Here it is. It's coming up. More powder? Okay. Well... <clears throat> it's awful? Nah, dude. You got to realize the um, the trade bar's already paid for this run. So we're doing 25 keys. Uh, and you buy them at 20 at a time if you buy them with Zen. Okay. What are the legendaries going for? Like 100k? Maybe? Alright. This is the last Lothian lockbox I'm ever going to open. 10 companion upgrade tokens and for my troubles a choice pack all right not bad not bad okay i had another one already somebody's gonna be a big big winner winner get you a legendary coastal flail snail and a influence voucher epic totally worth you ready Yeah, yeah. The Loster's ready. Okay, here we go. Good luck. Let's go. Oh, where's the sound? Where's the sweet, sweet sound? Oh, the polka sound. Holy shit, my ears. The winner is... Oh, what's this? Hold on a second. <clears throat> Yo, hey, it's Uncle Floyd. I know it's you. Yo, Prize Central, what is going on? All right, let me hook you up. Here, take this. Oops. Take that and take that. All right. Hey, and if you want to kiss up to the guild, shoot that uh, influence voucher over to somebody in your guild, you know, like the important. Like, oh, cool. Yeah, thanks, man. They'll save it and it'll be worth something. You could probably sell that snail, though. It's like, it was, what, 91K? Anyway. Here you go, something for nothing. Okay. Right, right, right. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. All right, spellcaster's here. A cleric, a healer. An awesome healer. Bye-bye, Neverwinter. Bye-bye.